an epicyclic gear train is arranged as shown in figure. How many revolutions does the arm to which the pinion B and C are attached? Here, the number of teeth on A and D are known. TA 40, TD 90. But the number of teeth on B and C are known. First, we need to find the number of teeth on B and C. Here, diameter of gear A plus diameter of gear B plus diameter of gear C equal to diameter of gear D. B and C are equal. So, I can write it as DA plus 2DB equal to TD. Again, I can replace this relation with P because module equal to D divided by T. So, I can replace this relation as TA plus 2DB equal to TD. TA 40, TD 90. From that, PB 25. If PB 25, then PC also 25 because both are same size. Next, I'm going to do some calculation on table form. Here, the column 1 represent condition. Then, the second column represent revolution. Condition 1, arm fixed. We are giving minus 1 rotation. So this is very important because in the question itself, it is given that the gear A rotates 1 rotation in clockwise direction so clockwise means minus counterclockwise means plus so we are giving minus one rotation to a arm fixed then we are giving minus x rotation to a then add y revolution and finally total here column one arm that is e f so this is e then we are giving minus one rotation a then A connected to B. So, after A, B and C will come. Then after B and C, because B and C are coupled. C, B connected to D. So, D is the final column. Form fixed. So, this is 0. Then we are giving minus 1 rotation to A. So, this is minus 1. Next, we need to find the speed of gear B. Before going to speed, let me fix the direction. Look at the direc uh, direction of A and B. A minus then B plus because A and B outer contact, external contact. External contact means the direction will change. A minus then B plus. Then look at B, C and D. B, C and D has internal contact. Internal contact means the direction same. If B, C plus means then D also plus. Internal means plus minus minus plus. External means plus sorry. External means plus minus minus plus internal means plus plus minus minus so now we need to find nb nb contact with na nb contact with na nb divided by na equal to ta divided by tb again na 1 so you should not take the minus sign so, NB equal to TA by TB. That is why I have written here TA by TB. Next, ND, speed of gear B. ND contact with NB. ND divided by NB equal to TB divided by TD. Again, ND, NB value, this is NB. TA divided by TB equal to TB divided by TD. I can write this here. TA divided by TB. I can cancel TB on both sides. So, this is TA by TD. That is what I have written here. Now, 
multiply minus x on column row 1. 0 minus x, x ta by tb, this is x ta by tb. Add minus y revolution to all the rows. Now add 2 and 3. This is minus y, minus x, minus y, x ta by tb, minus y, x ta by td, minus y. A makes one revolution clockwise, B makes half revolution anticlockwise. A make one revolution clockwise, B is stationary. These are the two conditions. A makes one revolution clockwise. Clockwise means minus 1. Minus x minus y equal to minus 1. Then B makes one revolution anti-clockwise. Sorry, B makes half revolution in anti-clockwise. So, this is P. X TA by TD minus Y equal to half revolution. I can reduce this equation as X plus Y equal to 1. Substitute DA DD value 40X minus 90Y equal to 45. I can divide this by 40. So, x minus 2.25y equal to 1.125. So, there are two equations. When you solve to this equation, you will get y equal to minus of 0 0.04. So, speed of the arm y equal to 0 0.04 rpm because arm equal to minus y. So, minus y equal to 0 0.04 rpm. Then the second condition is A makes one revolution in anticlockwise direction that is minus x minus y equal to minus 1. So which means clockwise direction then B is fixed. So these two are given condition x ta by td minus y equal to 0. Substitute A and D value. 40x minus 90y equal to 0. From that x minus 2.25y equal to 0. When you solve these two equations, you will get y equal to 0 0.308. So, speed of the arm minus y equal to minus y equal to minus of 0 0.308 rpm.